Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, is Go a better server-side language than Java? So let's get into it. Why do you ask me these things? Why? And why do I keep on trying to answer them? Because this is the sort of question that will, it will, be, it will bring only pain for me. It will only bring pain. I will only be criticized for whatever I say here. There is no way I can express well, I'll try, but it's so hard to express something that is sensitive to people because you may not know this. People are fucking sensitive about what tools they like for some reason. I don't know. It's, it's just one of those human things. If you like something and somebody else doesn't like it, fuck them. Sorry. Anywho, uh, let's take a step back and consider the things that I think are important when I can so that I can answer this question so one of the things that I will argue is most important when it comes to server-side like server-side development is simplicity the reason why I argue that simplicity is one of the most important things is because over time, any project, regardless of what it is, is going to face a lot of legacy issues and scalability issues and all of this good stuff. And the reason why simplicity is a very useful thing to have here is because the more complicated the features that you build or the more complicated the code you write, the likelier you are to make create a situation where other people don't actually understand what's going on or new you get new hires into the company and they have a hard time adopting certain practices or stuff of this nature and that means that you know if they're on their own odds are that they will make a, a, a very uninformed decision or they because of the complexity that is already there they're going to actually worsen the situation so simplicity is absolutely key and I will argue that in this regard go is a little bit nicer it's I think that Go is a much smaller Go is a smaller language but just let me raise my finger it is a smaller language the syntax is very simple in I, Java isn't hard it's just that in in my world Go is going to give you access I mean things like threading is fairly complicated to do in say Java in comparison to Go say and that's just you know it's a subjective thing but that's the way I feel about it anyway and Java has this strategy of annotations and like dependency injection, all of that good stuff, which are absolutely useful, but they add even more, like extra layers of complexity on top, right? So from that perspective, I think Go is a better choice. It's a much smaller language, and that is in my world a very good thing, when until it's actually not. So that's the other part of this. So, because simplicity is the most, I will argue, this is the most important thing, but that's not the whole story. The other part of the story is that your language needs to accommodate the needs that you have. In other words, what you're going for, in my perfect world, you would have a programming language that perfectly fits the feature requests that you need for your given project because the more a language has the more like like diversity and so forth the likelier you are to not write things in a sustainable manner c sharp is a very good example of where they actually can, can really control this it's a very good ecosystem for this sort of like to be consistent to have the you know they control that ecosystem very well but in Go, who is, I mean, the language is fairly early stage still. They have the maturity that Java has can almost not be rivaled today by, well, it, not by Go. It, there are very few languages who can claim to have as many packages and support for all the possible various things that you could possibly want to do in, in almost any type of development. Java is a very, that's a, and that's a very, very good strength to, like it's a very big strength for Java. The standard package libraries and the security aspects and all that stuff is very, very high in that language. Go may come to that point and some, at some point, but it's not there today. So that's the one I shock down for Java when it comes to empowerment, to be able to do the broadest amount of things. And this, I will tell you right now, it may not be important to you, but it is damn important to big co uh, corporations. And then finally, we will look at it from the perspective of jobs. So jobs, well, I, I hate to say it, but Java is the world's most popular programming language when it comes to server-side development. It is, it's, job-wise, it is 
I think the only other language that can rival it for server-side development is C-sharp. And th that is the way I could go is almost non-existent on the job market if you compare it to Java. So if you're looking for a career option, Go is a very, honestly, not the greatest choice right now at least. Java is and has been for quite a few years, probably one of, if not the best. JavaScript is up there as well, with, and as I said, C Sharp. So that's another one that I have to shock down for Java. So with these things in mind, Java is, for career purposes, probably the way to go. But if we're talking about simplicity and personal empowerment and being able to, well, basically get productive fairly quickly, I will argue that Go is a better choice. And I think that long term, Go is going to be a better server-side language than Java. But that depends on how long term we're talking about. I mean, there's tons of factors that go into the success of a language. I see the potential in Go to become, some, become better than Java, but that doesn't mean that it's just going to happen. Because remember, even, even if a language is super awesome in every single way, that doesn't make it the most popular thing. There are tons of languages that are awesome from all manner, if you, depending on the angle you pick, they're superior to Java in every single way. Yet Java is the biggest player on the, in the industry. Why? Well, because the investment in that platform is massive. The same thing goes for JavaScript. A lot of people hate JavaScript. It doesn't really matter because as long as the big IT companies are pooling tons and tons and tons of money into it to sustain the browser, it doesn't matter how you feel about it. It doesn't matter if there's a more awesome language out there. People will go with the thing that is politically popular or the thing that is invested in. And right now, Go has isn't there. Java has that investment from pretty much the entire industry and big corporations they don't migrate big, like their system over to a new thing just because it comes around. They have to, it has to go through a fairly long well, success process. It has to prove itself quite, off, quite a lot over a fairly long time before it becomes a new industry standard. So what, that's basically what I want you to take away from this. For job purposes Java is a better server-side language than Go. For personal empowerment and simplicity, and in terms of potential, I think Go is a nicer choice. Have a great day.